What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and dudes, I know a lot of you have probably seen this information before but Indivisible finally got fully funded. Everyone's been talking about it endlessly on my streams so I figured I'll make a video just putting all the details out there for you all. So let's go to the browser really quick. This is obviously some big news because I wanted to embark on that journey with Ajna and the other incarnations for a while now and I was worried that the first part of the campaign wouldn't make it. There were actually two splits of it. So the first time it didn't necessarily make goal but it got to around 60% and then they were allowed to extend the campaign even further so thankfully the second time around they actually managed to get all the funds together so the post from Indivisible themselves after a grueling 57 days it finally happened and the Indivisible RPG is being funded from Lab Zero Games thank you from the bottom of our hearts and even though it's a little bit late I need to give you guys my congratulations as well too and I don't want any of you to feel like oh I didn't help the campaign out so you know I, I feel kind of bad I didn't do so Doug. If you talked about the game, shared it, made a video about it, tweeted about it, showed a friend, downloaded the prototype, played it on the PS4, even if you played the prototype in general, even if you just mentioned the game to somebody, you did your part and you should feel proud about that because if it wasn't for you, this game wouldn't get to the point that it is. We all had our part. Personally, I didn't contribute any money myself because I was running through some tough times for the last month or two, but even though I was hard on money, I still did everything that I could to get the game out there as much as possible. And, you know, it's not like you had to do the same thing, but I made videos and such. So, you know, if you did something similar to where you just showed the game support or got the game around to other people, you should feel very proud of yourself for the fact that you helped to make this project happen. And of course, Lab Zero probably feels the same way. Extremely thankful, extremely humble about reaching such an amazing goal. $1.5 million. Let's check out the actual campaign page really quick and this game has been you know making a storm on Twitter and uh, other social media by the way um, it's almost at one million eight hundred thousand dollars um, there's nine hours left of the campaign so you know if you did want to get into one of those contribution levels one of the perks now is pretty much the kind of like your last time to do so these boys have been making waves man did I mention before that they actually have Shantae and Shovel Knight in this game the marketing is out the ass Indivisible, Lab Zero, they know what the hell they're doing. They're putting in one hell of a hype cast. Amazing guest characters coming into the game. We got characters from Skullgirls coming into the game. So we got a little bit of cross collaboration going. And have you seen the recent incarnations that they've been revealing? You know, of course, when they hit a certain $50,000 goal, um, every time they hit that, they add another incarnation to the list of ones that are revealed. And they've been amazing so far, man. Dude. This is insane. Like Now they have stretch goals as well too, which kind of just go to show you how much support they're getting. One stretch goal was more music by Hiroki Kikuta, Kikuta, an amazing composer. I always struggle with his last name, but Hiroki is an amazing... This guy has done some amazing stuff in the past and his soundtrack, this soundtrack is going to include more songs from him. The current song you're listening to is made by him as well. You can't lie. The, the, the music is a huge part of the experience, so in my opinion, that's really awesome to see. They've managed to pass that goal. They're also trying to have an animated opening by Titmouse and a mystery anime studio. So, I mean, they, they said that they can't reveal the anime studio's name, though, because they want to stay back until the project's more bolted down. I understand totally, but dudes, considering the work of the sprites and just the visual appeal of this game, it'll be amazing if we actually manage to hit that goal, and it looks like it might just happen within the next nine hours. An animated intro... I mean, this game has been making a lot of fucking money really quick. Like, you should have seen how they hit their goal. It, like, you know, a lot of people were saying maybe they won't hit it, and then they just got, like, $100,000, like, out of nowhere. It, it, it was just crazy. The money was just coming in, and I'm so glad to see that things worked out. It really goes to show you that there are probably a lot of people that were waiting until the campaign looked like it was about to end, and then they said, oh, shit, okay, now I can contribute. Holy shit, let me show my support now while they really need it. Um, let's see some more of the stretch goals, because I actually didn't see any of the other ones myself. I only saw the animated opening, and we have full voice acting for major characters, all major characters. I mean, voiceovers? Is that what that is? Full VO? I would have expected that just to be in the case for the regular game, but I mean, if they're really going to do vo Oh, you mean all of their lines, all of their text in the game, in the story mode. So even if it's not like a super important mission or whatever, they'll still have full voice acting. That will be amazing if that manages to be hit because uh, they're going to have Christina V in there as well too. Um, she's the voice of Shantae. Um, I guess she will naturally be in the game since she's a guest character too. But um, she's going to be doing some voice work in there. She did the voice of Razmi from the game on the prototype at least. And then we have multiple endings for the $2,300,000 um, donation goal plus a hardcore boss bonus dungeon. Um, I think this dungeon is where you go into Ajna's, um, her into herself and you have to fight 
all the monsters without her. It's kind of weird, but I mean, I, I love the idea. I just hope that they go in with this game. You guys have really pushed the boundaries in terms of what Indiegogo campaigns are and how they should be approached in the future. And I got to give them props on just being 100% transparent and bringing all the facts to us on the surface so we know what we're getting into. You guys have made an amazing front here. Um, and... I, I gotta give you fucking props on it. This campaign turned out great, and I'm just glad to see that it's going down, you know? So, the game's not gonna be out until 2018, maybe in the middle, maybe at the end, and even though that's a long ways from now, I'm still just happy that this project is gonna go down. So, you know, in two years, when I'll be 27 years old, I'm gonna finally be able to play Indivisible. One thing I'm hoping is that maybe, you know, as time goes on, every few months, they can update the prototype, add some more stuff to it, maybe, you know, make it a little demo even, kinda be real interactive with us. Um, these guys are actually um, working on a really good contract with their um, partner company. I can't. But what was their what was their um, publishing company? Um, I don't remember exactly what the publishing company's name was. Um, I think it was uh, it's to Take Two, or I, I don't remember exactly. But um, the company that they're getting published by said, "Hey, you can have full transparency with your audience. You can interact with them any way you see fit. We're not going to restrict you like that, and we'll pay for half of the game." So I mean, hey. I'm glad that this is all going down and they're able to do so on a contract of their negotiation and one that they can make moves on without having to be looked down or, you know, restricted by their publisher. So, I mean, I'm expecting more interaction. This isn't it, Indivisible. You can't just take the money now and we don't hear anything from you until 2018 when the game comes out. I and mean, I know that's probably not what they planned, but, you know, I want to see constant updates. I want to see wallpapers. I want to see all this other cool stuff. Wallpapers was one of the... Um, perks actually but um guys i hope this isn't gonna be the end of your interaction with us on a you know close one-to-one -one basis well, not one-to-one -one, but you know a, a close basis you guys gotta keep the hype going until 2018 man you gotta be in our asses you gotta be showing us new stuff showing us snippets of the game showing us some um, stuff here and there i want to see more okay i don't want this to be the end of it um you guys have amazing character design so far there have been some really high profile artists that have contributed to the game um dudes this is gonna be fucking clean. I know it is. A lot of these incarnations are really cool um, concepts too. Like my favorite one is Antoine right now um, because apparently he was adopted as a kid and um, he was adopted to a really rich family in the Iron Kingdom. So they have a lot of clout. He pretty much was grown up for success, but he was adopted. What are his true origins, my boy? It's mysterious and I love that concept, dude. Um, and we got other cute characters in here too, a lot of awesome looking characters. We got Tenno who's one of those old school, um, one of those old school Mayan um, ball game play I don't remember what the fuck the, the, it's some really complicated names, but I mean, the concepts are fucking through the roof. They're through the roof, man. You guys keep killing it, man. Anyways, um, what do you guys think of the Indivisible prototype? Did you play the prototype yourself? I want to know if you played it, because if you haven't, get your ass to the campaign page right now and get, grab you that prototype. The game is going to happen. So at this point now, you're basically playing a preview of a small, tiny, almost insignificant little preview of what we're truly going to get at the end of this project. So why not take it all in, man? You can either play it here on your PC, or you can download it on the PS4. Um, you got options, man. I'll see you guys later on. This video is not sponsored, by the way. You know, I just love the project. I'm really passionate about it. It's got great characters, amazing music, and just, 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 just clean visuals. So that's why. I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.